So the killer script means a killer story, killer anything, okay? Um, you need to have this, you know, or this idea before you go. The second thing, and this is something that really applies globally, is what we call the pitch. And there's going to be a lot of aspects of this. Um, the pitch, let's talk about one of the first aspects. There's two pitches. We're talking about the pitch of the movie itself is one thing, right? And we'll talk about that in a minute. But the other, probably more important, especially if there's people that are working in crew and stuff like that, is the pitch of yourself, you know? Um, when, if you had, if you, let's flash back uh, X amount of years, whenever I was in high school or whatever, and you asked me, Tom, what do you want to do when you get older? I would say, I'm going to be in the film business. You know, I wouldn't say, I wish, you know, I hope, or I'm praying that one day, I'd be, I'm going to be in the film business. I'm going to be an actor. You know, I admit that at that time I didn't know if I was strong enough as a writer, so I didn't know that. But, you know, I uh, knew I was going to be in the film business. I could pitch myself. And if I meet you after this and we talk or whatever, I say, uh, what do you, you know, hey, I'm Tom, you know, and you say, oh, I'm so-and-so, you know, introduce, and uh, you got to pitch yourself. Yeah, I'm a cinematographer. I'm going to, this is what I plan to do. I just plan to shoot films. I'm an editor. You know, I've, I've made kind of mastered Final Cut Pro, you know, and this is the thing. I, I, I like to edit this. You know, so this is the pitch of yourself. And the key with the pitch of yourself is it's got to be confident. You've got to know what, what you want to do, you know? Uh, if it's just, oh, I just want to work in the film business, whatever, man. You know what I mean? How long does that last before no one else knows? You know what I mean? If, unless you're clear with yourself what you want to do in the film business, how the heck are you, uh, anybody else going to be clear, you know? So you're going to be, you have to have that pitch, you know? You have to have that in your head and go, I'm going to be this. I'm going to do this. I'm a director, you know? I'm a writer. I'm an actor. This is it. This is what I'm going to do. The other aspect of the pitch is when I talk about the pitch of the film itself. What I, I just told you about Slumdog Millionaire, what I thought that pitch is, and I just, you know, made that up there. But I taught a class on pitching, and it was the same thing. Like, they'd pitch me their screenplays, where they'd be telling me this story, and it was like, wait, what? You know, I mean, you, you, you couldn't put it together, what, what it was, you know, and, uh, or it may be an okay story, but they had the absolute lowest energy ever, you know? <laughs> and you can't have that. You know, if you, you asked uh, Brian and I, what's our next movie? Like, pick one, uh, or Air Disturbance or something like that. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Air Disturbance, the movie that we're making, and I can do easily describe it as paranormal activity in a plane. Anybody see paranormal activity? Okay, this is paranormal activity in a plane, right? It takes place in a plane, you got all these secret monitors and stuff like that, so it's something supernatural, and it's scary as hell, okay? So, notice my energy when I said that. You don't have to be crazy me, you don't have to do that, but you need to be able to quickly and succinctly say what the movie is, okay? and get the point across to what the movie is. Because that's literally the first step in the whole audience, you know, that this is setting the groundwork. <laughs> if you can't even pitch it, you expect an audience down the road to be able to go recommend it to their friends. You gotta go see this movie. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I know. There's, it's about this, it's about this, it's a paranormal activity in a plane, you know, and oh wow, okay, there you go. So you have to have that pitch. I remember somebody pitched me once a script that was, um, you know a lot of the American actors, right? If I named them, right? You know who Dwayne Johnson is, The Rock? You know that guy? Big dude. You know who Rob Schneider is? Little comedian guy? Pitch me a script was called Wimpy, I think was the title of it. And what it was, was a reverse Incredible Hulk. Like it was like Rob Schneider is a big tough guy, and when he gets mad, he turns into, or, no, excuse me, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is the big tough guy, and when he gets mad, he turns into a little green Rob Schneider, and he's like, ah, you know, runs around, and nobody can catch him, and, you know, and, he, and it's like, he's a wimp. He's the complete opposite of the Incredible Hulk. He's, he's already tough, and he turns wimpy. And if somebody pitched me that script, I was crying laughing. I said, it's hilarious. You know, and easily, I could say that to you, you know what the movie's about, right? And you know, okay, that's going to be fun, and this and that. So you have the killer script, you have the pitch. And like I said, pitch them yourself, who you are, and the pitch of uh, the project, right? Okay. The third thing that uh, you have uh, to do, and, and this is, I'll, I'll abbreviate this. Be realistic. BR, BR, BD. Be realistic, but dream. Okay? Meaning, <laughs> be realistic in the sense that you don't want to limit yourself. You know, I'm going to direct a uh, movie and the budget is $800 million. All right? Yeah, that's, that's a little not realistic. You know what I mean? It's great, fantastic. I hope you do it, but it's probably not going to happen. Um, but so be realistic. So keep your kind of mindset where you go, okay, this is what I'm going to do. 
I'm, uh, how, who said they're a DP? You have that word out here, DP? Uh, cinematographer? Yeah, what is, uh, DOP. DOP, you call it? Okay, DOP. Um, who's, who, who said they want to? Right, okay. So if you're realistic, mean in the sense, I want to be working as a director of photography in, you know, five years, okay? That's realistic, you know what I mean? If you were like, I'm going to shoot the next, you know, Avengers 2, <laughs> you know, that's not realistic, right? So you have to dream and you have to have those goals in your mind. I'm going to do this and this is the goal. And, you, and they literally have to be, uh, have a set date. I, I, I'm a firm believer in that. You know, if you say one day, oh, one day I'm going to do this. When, when the hell is one day? I had a guy who was, God, he had to be 86 years old, tell me he was going to write a book one day. I was like, the clock's ticking, you know what I mean? Like, how long are you going to, how many years do you think you got left, buddy? And so one day never comes, right? You have to be realistic on your time and say, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be directing my first film by the time I'm 30. There you go, all right? Then you have an actual date and a time, I'm going to do this by the time I do that. I'm going to make a million dollars by the time I'm, you know, 35. Fine. These are goals because you have a set time and you've kind of given yourself a deadline. A lot of people in the film business that are successful uh, give themselves deadline. I do it to myself. You know, if somebody says, when will you have that script to me? I'll say, oh, next Friday. You know what I mean? And maybe I haven't started it yet, but guess what? <laughs> Once I say next Friday, I will have that script done by next Friday. You know, you almost kind of create a deadline. So you kind of need to do that for yourself. You know, I want to be working in the film business well when? You know, uh, one day? No. I want to be doing it by this time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? Okay. This is an interesting thing. So when I teach about film financing, these are producers, like one producer here, right? Who's the producer again? Yes, the one guy. <laughs> hey, man. How are you? Um, I have a girlfriend, and she likes necklaces. I, gotta, you know, I have to do this. And so you need to know your number, meaning this is the, um, this is the number you have in your mind you want to make in the film business. I'll be very happy if I'm making number a year, you know? And that goes right back to the goal. And again, you have to be realistic, you know? I'll be very happy if I'm making 2.2 billion a year. You know, it's like, no, <laughs> that's not a little realistic. Okay, good for you. Um, but, you know, it, it, if you can say, look, th th there's, there's money in this, this film business. A lot of friends, you know, that are multimillionaires. And, uh, and there's people out here that we know that we've met that are multimillionaires. And there's, the exciting part about India is that that noise just completely went out. <laughs> yeah, what was that? That was kind of wacky. Um, the, the, the cool thing about India is it's not, you know, it is, as they say, an emerging market. It's emerged. It's here. You know? My friend Gregory Harrison was a big actor in TV in the 1980s, uh, the, the TV shows, um, Trapper John MD, big show in the United States. And he said, um, he, he's also a surfer, right? And he said the movie business is a lot like surfing. And I think that this also applies to the economy. That is a noise, right? That's not just in my head. OK, that actually, thank God, <laughs> exists. Um, he says there's a, film business is a lot like surfing. You, you go for that wave, and it's right in front of you. <laughs> then you go again, it's right behind you. Then you go talk to the guy in the pier, and he says, oh, man, you missed it last week. It was great, you know? So it's a timing thing, you know? And he said, but when you catch that wave, it's like the best feeling you'll ever feel in your life, and you'll be chasing it for the rest of your life. Catching the wave is huge and important, and you have an opportunity um, to catch the wave here in India um, because that wave is right at its peak, you know? And who knows? If, if five years from now, the Indian economy's not doing as well. I mean, I was invited to speak at Dubai Film Festival, and uh, somebody said, you got to pitch this, that, and the other thing. I went there, the wave had crashed already, man. They were already talking about how the hell are we going to fill up these gigantic buildings that we made. And it was like the money was gone. By the time I got, I just missed the wave. I'm just like, oh, God, if I'd been there a year earlier, you know, we would have had something. Um, so capitalize on this and, and, and believe it. Believe it that it's strong right now, and I'm going to use that to my advantage uh, to make something happen. 